Good morning, my awesome friends and followers of the channel, but not forgetting the members. Thank you all very much for your continued support as we move forward in the direction of peace and tranquility. Today's a wonderful day, actually. Yes, it is Monday. People are back at work, people are back at school. Monday the 14th of October. Sunday was a very, very interesting day for me. Um, yeah, I had some great news on Sunday. And um, yeah, and uh, there we go, people. Uh, sometimes it's nice to sit back and let justice prevail, if that makes sense. Um, I'm just off the phone, actually, to um, Fiona and Graham. Uh, we, we chuckled. Did we chuckle? Ha, 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 ha. Yes, we did. We had a laugh. Uh, at someone else's expense, actually. Um, more will be revealed in the coming weeks. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going to... I'm looking forward to going to Leeds Crown Court on the 4th of November. Did I tell you that? Yep. Did I tell you that before? Yeah. Booked a little hotel up there for the third, third night. So that's going to be exciting. And I'm having to um, remain flexible at the minute because there's other ongoing things, which is uh, great news is coming. All I'm going to say is that there. And you know what? Um, yeah. <laughs> Wow, imagine posting things. Imagine posting hate, constant hate online about me and then telling people, you didn't mean to hurt my feelings. You know, I, I didn't mean to upset Trevor. <laughs> you did. <laughs> and justice is coming. Anyway, right. Um, believe it or not, um, General Sir Mark Carlton Smith, who is the ex-Special Forces Commanding Officer, uh, Director of Special he's, he's right at the very top. He's now spoken out. He has spoken out on behalf of Special Forces. And he has said, listen to this, the SAS, UK Special Forces, I'm sure that entails Special Boat Service as well and Special Reconnaissance, I'm just saying. So the Special Forces operators now do not have any faith whatsoever in their commanders, uh, they, they just don't, uh, they think that um, the commanders aren't protecting them from potential investigations. And I actually spoke this morning and I, yeah, uh, yeah. I spoke this morning on the phone with uh, SAS legend um, Bob Kraft that I had on before. And, and Bob goes, you know what, Trevor, you know, the Special Forces always operate within the law. Of course they do. He says, it's what you have to do. We know, he said we, he classes himself still there. He says, we know the guidelines, we know everything, you know, but lawyers don't understand. Lawyers are saying things like, the SAS got off the helicopter and they put a gun in someone's hand and they allegedly did something, killed them. Um, he said, Trevor, but that's that's not what happens. These, these raids are carried out in pitch black where the choppers are flying in at roof level, they're coming out, they're going in, they're possibly being shot at, there's a lot of noise, there's mouse hole charges or whatever it may go to gain entry into some buildings, they're going in, the threat is high. He says, and you have to remember what lawyers aren't telling you is, special forces don't just fly to an ordinary house to visit families, they're going out to a target, they're going out to an individual that's been identified and proven that he's been involved in the most heinous, horrific things towards ordinary people. These people are evil. So we're sending in the toughest and trained, trained killers to go and try and stop people from committing murderous activities. So these things aren't really mentioned by lawyers. They just go, yes, well, uh, my client was in bed. Your client may have been in bed, but he had just spent the last two years building devices online and bringing in different things to make suicide vests. You know, your lawyers leave these, what I would call vitally important information out of the cases and judges sit there going, hmm, that sounds awful. He was in bed. He was in bed. Oh, yeah. But there's hundreds of people that aren't in bed because he's murdered them in the past. Does that make sense? So, um, yeah, we just need someone with a, a set of cojones to, to protect people that are keeping us safe. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. What else is happening? Well, the king, King Charles, uh, I did mention the other day that he was going to Australia uh, on a tour. And I said that, you know, he's giving up his... Now, I, I'm fully aware 
that whenever he travels and he's undergoing cancer treatment, I'm fully aware that there will be a medical team on standby that probably travel with him, that are probably there. Probably some of the most fantastic doctors, people look after him in Australia, will probably be on their beck and call in case the king needs him. So I get that. A little bit surprised though that all six states in Australia, the leaders of all six states, have decided they don't want to meet King Charles and they've pulled out of an invitation to welcome him when he arrives in Australia. That's a bit... doesn't sit well with me. Not good, is it? Not good. It's a shame, but there we go. And the other day I mentioned to you, I don't know the price yet, but the other day I mentioned to you that uh, Colleen Rooney had signed up to go and I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, which starts, I don't know, maybe the end of November, December. Anyway, the programme that's upcoming, up and coming. She had signed a deal which apparently dwarfs Nigel Farage's 1.5 million he got last year. So she's going to get a lot of money. In the hopes he spills the beans about ongoing things. But Rebecca Varney has hit out, hasn't she? She's went... I will be watching I'm a Celebrity and I will be watching everything that Colleen Rooney does and if she mentions my name once, I'm bringing in the lawyers. Imagine that. Imagine that. Eh? Well, at least we know that uh, I'm a Celebrity will be on on every TV in the Vardy's house, won't it? It'll be everywhere so they don't miss it. Yep. Yeah. And we'll all be watching it going, come on, Colleen, say something, say something. <laughs> oh... I'm sure she's fully aware. Colleen Rooney is actually uh, a very, very sh shrewd businesswoman. Uh, she has lots of things that she does now, so I'm sure she's not going to let anything slip. So it's possibly a waste of money to bring her in, I think, if she can't talk about lots of things because people are watching to sue her. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And this morning, this story is out. I believe it's in the Mail Online. Is it the Mail Online? Possibly the Mail Online. A expert, I believe they're royal experts. I don't know what makes people royal experts. Is it the fact that they put out lovely stories and they get closer and closer and closer and closer and then they have inside gossip? Doesn't matter. Anyway, a royal expert has stated that Meghan Markle will never, ever, ever be forgiven for, and the words they wrote in the paper was dis, dissing, D-I-S-S-I-N-G, dissing. I think that's, I don't know, what else can I use for dissing? Uh, speaking badly of, I think, isn't it? Speaking badly of. So she will never be forgiven for dissing the royal family. And this royal expert is saying that Harry needs to go alone if he is to try and salvage his reputation. That's why we are currently seeing two individuals doing separate things together. Separate things together. That sounded strange. That's why we're seeing individuals do separate events together. Pardon me, separate things together so that one can try and re rebuild the reputation that this one's wife tried to destroy. Uh, and you know what? Um, I don't believe that, though. I don't believe, in my opinion, I'm without prejudice, I don't believe that he um, should try and... Um, I'm just thinking about it. The damage was done by the power of them. It wasn't done, let's be honest, it wasn't done just by his wife. It was a joint effort. It was a joint effort. So let's not pretend that he needs to do things by himself to salvage his reputation. His reputation is in tatters because of his actions, not because of hers, but because of theirs, okay? Let's not pretend he's a victim. Um, he's a grown man. Uh, he may have been manipulated, don't know, but even so, uh, he's a grown man and you have to take responsibility for your actions. Do you like that? He's a grown man and you must take responsibility for his actions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, the United Nations is saying that the uh, Israeli Defence Force the IDF, the Israeli Defense Force, when they attacked the United Nations, which they did, peacekeepers, um, that could consulate as a war crime. So the United Nations are now investigating the Israeli Defense Force for their attack on their peacekeepers, which, um, which could very well be a war crime. And if it if they do 
find it to be a war crime, you'll find that the Israeli Prime Minister could very well be prosecuted in The Hague for what's happened. Whether you like that or not, I don't care. I'm just pointing out the facts. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm sure we'll find out down the line that maybe certain people were using the United Nations building, this massive building with a UN flag on it, which couldn't have been missed even by a satellite. Drones would have picked it up, but they still hit it. Um, yeah, it's a shame. Um, it's a shame that there's so much hate out there. It really is. Anyway, listen, um, if you're out there and you're uh, you're attacking people online and you're hiding your identity, you know, it, you can't hide anymore. We have a thing called chargers. So the victim keeps a record of things that's said online, lots of them. And then we put together a program of dates, time, and things were said over a period of time, and we give it into the police. And the police will then say why not they believe it's a crime. If they do think it's a crime, they then will apply for a charter into a social media platform. And whether you have a VPN or not, the this platform then hands out the IP, the IP address uh, or the owner of the VPN companies who then trace it back to where you are. There's nowhere to hide today. And um, it's, 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 that's really good news. So um, stand by for updates. Anyway, listen, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks to those of you that have become members. I do appreciate it. Have a wonderful Monday. I bet your Monday's not going to be as smiley as mine though. Take care.